Welcome to an explanatory video about the EcoSimpro simulation platform and one of the developed toolkits, Smart Grid. EcoSimpro is a top tier modeling and simulation software for simulating OD or 1D multidisciplinary continuous discrete systems and any kind of system based on differential algebraic equations and discrete events. It is used for multidisciplinary simulation. EcoSimpro has been designed to perform steady state and transient studies serving as an optimization and design tool that assists engineers in improving any system they model. The Smart Grid Toolkit enables users to model and simulate micro and smart grid systems, including energy conversion from renewable sources. Its goal is to provide a tool for energy balance systems in small, medium, and large-scale systems, analyze power balance, and simulate various production consumption scenarios. The toolkit comprises a set of libraries each dedicated to modeling a specific area. By selecting each library, you can access the available components. For instance, the control library provides the typical blocks needed to simulate analog and digital control systems. The electric underscore DQ library allows users to solve steady state sine wave calculations using the phaser modeling approach. The smart grid library contains renewable energy components, such as sun irradiation, wind, water flow, translating them into electric energy. EcoSimpro provides a highly intuitive graphics environment that simplifies creating physical models using schematic. In this context, the model is constructed by dragging and dropping components from the palette into the editing area and connecting them through ports. Afterward, each component is parameterized by entering the required data through the attribute editor. Once the model is completed, it is compiled, and one or several simulation scenarios or experiments are generated. These experiments can be executed through a monitor that displays the value and evolution of any variable in the model. Next, we will take a look at an example built using this toolkit. This example presents a model of a smart grid connected to an ideal grid. It includes a solar photovoltaic power generation system, a wind power generation system, a diesel generator unit, and a battery storage system. The user defines the environmental conditions using input signals in the environmental conditions component. The photovoltaic panels are connected to a maximum power point tracking controller and a direct current power converter. Batteries are chosen as the energy storage system. The battery controller monitors battery voltage and current for open circuit voltage estimation and determines whether the demanded current can be extracted from or supplied to the battery. The wind turbine generator model represents multiple wind turbine generators grouped in a cluster. It sets the current phaser with the correct magnitude and phase based on the received power reference. In this example, the diesel generator is connected to an external grid and it serves as an additional power source or sink based on external power references. The power converter allows for connecting and transmitting energy between two electrical systems with different characteristics. In this example, the grid is modeled using a voltage source and is defined following the European system. Once the model is compiled and the default partition is generated, a transient experiment is run for over to 0.5 hours. It can be observed that the power generated by the photovoltaic panels attempts to follow the power reference and reaches it when there is sufficient solar radiation. Regarding the battery, charge and discharge cycles can also be observed. The wind turbine prioritizes the active power reference. The next plot displays the active power reference blue line and the active power delivered by the wind farm red line. Finally, the total active power delivered to the grid is represented by the blue line and the portion corresponding to the diesel generator by the orange one. Additionally, the reactive power is represented in the secondary axis by the violet line. Thank you for watching this video. For more information please visit our website.